Push to your feet. Good, Avery. Feet, 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 push through your feet. He's tighter, Marissa. Well, I was a gymnast with Arizona Twisters way back a long time ago. Um, I ended up competing at Arizona State. Um, before that, I did elite, but I had a very short career because I didn't start gymnastics until high school. Nowadays, I don't think you could do that. Straight around to the back, don't cross it in front of you. I actually moved to Ohio and just wrote to someone in town and gave them my information and they told me a little club that needed help in Westerville. Ended up going there and we did very well. Dave Holcomb, the owner of Buckeye, came and talked to me about working for Buckeye. Go to vault. I saw she had those guys on vault and you guys are on beam. Well, the elite program actually began quite a while ago when I had a few kids that were just very talented and they had a strong desire and commitment to go as far as they could. We just worked extra um, beyond the regular hours and ended up taking four of them elite. And I think that um, you know the extra hours and the extra details that you can do when you have the extra hours allows for greater success. And then more people see that and they want to do it. They're willing to put the time in and the effort in and they're capable. So when they have all of that mixture, then it comes out with great success. And that's what we're still hoping for. Come on, take it up. Shoulders. Calm. Mania. Good job. Good job. Hey, on the um, turn, half, two and a half turn, I didn't see the beginning, but when I looked over, your shoulders were tilting that way, just stomach in tight so it stays even. Um, what was it right after series? You, you make sure that the back hands and the back foot comes in here, finishes, because you're fighting a little bit hip open there as you landed. You were doing them like square on, right? Good job, good start. Okay, who's up? Um, I started gymnastics when I was four years old. Um, well, my parents said that I was always playing around on the monkey bars when I was younger, so they decided, well, we should try gymnastics because I guess it wasn't how you usually play on the monkey bars. Um, I was like on top of it and like hanging upside down, so they wanted to try something different. She had a lot of quickness that helped her learn a lot of skills. She was brave too. You have to be courageous to do this sport at a high level. When she did tops as a 10-year-old, they asked her to come to developmental camp. So she kind of dropped tops and did developmental camp um, since she was 10. Started to become really serious. I was becoming more focused and um, realizing how much I really do love this sport. She demands a lot of herself. And if it's not perfect, she gets kind of down on herself. So we're working hard on trying to realize that you can make a correction and just address it without getting down on yourself. I just want the focus to be, this is the one position, trust it, go. Attack it, man, don't question it. I want your hip and your chest in line with your takeoff. But she has a great heart and she's very high spirited. So we try to control that into focus. But once she's let go, it's free spirit. She's super explosive. Her bar releases are so high. That's, that's always so fun to watch. It's really exciting. We spend a lot of time training the, the release moves, and we spend a lot of time working the technique so it is dynamic. All the way up, up. The more dynamic releases are harder because you're higher, you have to rotate faster, you have to be prepared to catch it and control the swing. So it's definitely a longer path. But like I said, I think it's exciting to watch. and I think it pays off in the, in the long run. A little bit more. A little more through, down up, right? Good job. I've been teammates with Mia for about three years. Mia is very nice and supportive. Mia really helped me with my Arabian on being. When I first moved here, I kept going off to the side a little bit and then she like helped me look up. better and more consistent. Mia is very supportive. Every day I love 
to train with Mia and she's just a great inspiration. Arms up first. Watch that outside shoulder being too high. Watch your outside shoulder being too high. I mean your inside shoulder, I'm sorry. Through the layout. Up. That's, that was awesome. Yeah, good, good. I want to see a little more separation off the table, okay, but the shoulders were exactly where I wanted them. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course, because you're not fighting yourself. When the inside shoulder gets high, you're fighting yourself because you're trying to turn this way, but your body's going this way. When it's down and around, it spins so much faster. Ah, uh, yeah. I get Instead it. of. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Glad you figured it out. Yeah. Sooner than later. <laughs> Tell me about when Mia was first added to the national team and what that meant. That was kind of funny because we were expecting it earlier, but it never came. <laughs> then, like the month before championships, they added her to the national team. The best part was when Marta handed me the plaque and she congratulated me and she told me how much potential I had. That was just a great feeling. It gave me a lot of confidence. It was kind of unexpected because I didn't expect it the last camp before championships. I didn't think they would add anybody and they did, so we were thrilled. <laughs> but we had Jesselo as a goal for Nia and we worked really hard to make sure that we were prepared at that point. We were actually short a bar dismount. She had done really well on everything, but the dismount at the end of the routine was still a question. So Marta asked her to learn a double pike because internationally you can use a C. So it was like 15 minutes left to camp. She went over to the pit. Arthur worked her on a double pike and she went over and did it, made it. Marta's like, okay, let's go with that. So she made the team. We come the next day. She makes a routine with a double pike. She never done it because she started with double layout she never did double pipe well for the first one was really nerve-wracking <laughs> I didn't want to let anybody down or the team down so I was just trying to keep calm and do the best I could Kitty she just told me to act like I was in the gym and doing what I do best and it all just happened naturally <laughs> when they called me up for second place in Jessalo was a great feeling even though I made one mistake, I was still able to finish strong and come out second all around. <laughs> well, I was really proud of her. And Marta came up and said, do you see how talented she is? And I was like, yes, we're trying, we're working. <laughs> we're working, I know. So, you know, controlling the mind and trusting the technique, those are, you know, the two things that make Bean come together. And I think that she's figuring that out now. Pike opens or pike fulls? Fulls? Okay, good. Oy. Don't close your shoulders there. Open them now. Push, push. Better. Can you lead a little more with your toes? And toes over. That was very nice. Good. Then she got chosen for pack rim, which was even more exciting. And that opportunity was probably her highlight. When I came in second, I was more than excited to go and compete again and represent USA. She was with the juniors and the seniors, which is a great experience because they've been there and they kind of helped the juniors like along with what to do. Still nervous because didn't want to let anybody down. I just tried to have fun and live in the moment. She was the last up on bars. And when she landed her dismount, the whole team went crazy. That was huge, you know. It really meant that she's on Marta's radar. Now we have work to do to, to keep that up and to reach that expectation. After Pack Rooms was Secret Classic, I also received second place there. One mistake cost me first place, but it showed that I really need to work on my consistency and how important it is for me to be successful.
<laughs> that was nice. Good. Oh my gosh, it's good. It's your chest up. Snap and pull. Oh, come on. What do you need me there for? <laughs> that was good. Come on, you're fine. Stomach in and chest up. Nice. Good. That was really nice. After Secret Classic then was PNGs and on day one I started off really strong on floor and vault and I was feeling really confident for the next two events. She had a fall on bar dismount and a fall on her Arabian on beam. That was hard. But she was still pretty high up there which told me that she's really capable but I know she can do it. We just hadn't been able to put enough numbers in. You have to get your numbers in so that they're confident. You know, I just had to let it go and just keep going strong mentally. I was still proud of myself for hitting well on two events and just tweaking little things here and there for bars and beam. The second day she made her bar dismount and we were thrilled. She made her vault, she went to beam and she fell on her Arabian again. I know I went like this. I was just like, I can't believe this just happened. She couldn't either. She just stopped and finished and actually still scored decent for that. But that's not what you want to have happen. That's not what they want the international experience to be. So we knew we had to take care of that. But when we went to floor, I knew that she was pretty devastated from beam. But I knew that she just needed to be calm and confident to, to go attack floor. And I just said, you know, attack every takeoff and trust every landing. There was so much energy in the arena, I could barely hear my floor music. She was so determined. I, there's no other words but determination, you know, sheer determination that she was gonna make it. And she presented it big, and once she stuck that first tumbling pass and then stuck that second one, she just was on fire. I felt great, I was just living in the moment and having as much fun as possible. This is my last year as a junior, so just trying to have fun. And she just nailed the floor team. She won floor, she won vault. Even with all the mistakes I made, um, I still finished second all around. That still gave me a little bit more confidence that I know that if I just fix these mistakes that I could have a chance at being really successful. Just like you warmed up, strong on top. Patience set. Press. Snap all the way. Eyes up, eyes up. Breathing, breathing. Stay lifted. Finish up strong. When you go into the second turn, I want you to plie and spot just a little bit. You just plie, but then you turn your head over here and our body gets out of line. Just plie. Forward. Press. Better. Nia's season last year was exciting. It was a great season for her. It really built her confidence and let her know that she's completely capable of this. It was a great learning experience because she struggled. She didn't have her best meet. And to still walk away that high and that far ahead, it was like a breath of fresh air and at the same time, like, okay, we have to work. We have to fix our issues and we have to be ready because she's capable. And in her mind, I think it kind of drove her to work harder, you know, through this cycle, knowing that she can do it and she's capable of doing it. She was doing great up till December, and she kept having a sore foot. And she kept telling me it was okay, till I finally told her that she needed to get it checked. And when we did, the bone that it involved can be serious on the navicular bone. So we were told to back off twice. She had to be on crutches for two weeks, and it, it set us back quite a bit. But now that she's coming off of it, she seems to be basically where she left off. You know, we've, we've had to take a few of the new things we had out, but all the old stuff's still there, and it's just back to, the, back to training. Yeah.
training is going well. I'm putting together more and more routines and right now I'm just trying to hit my base routine so that I can just be strong and confident. Well, I'm becoming more and more consistent on bars, hitting my routines each practice. <laughs> Vault has come back great. Vault is my favorite event because I think it comes more naturally for me, so it's fun. I can have enjoy it more. <laughs> her beam, she's so much more confident. Um, she's attacking her leap. She's uh, attacking that Arabian. Arabians, for me, were pretty easy. They came naturally. They've always just been a fun skill for me to do. Finish the round up. Do another timer. Feet are behind you. Finish pushing, let the hips get under you to rise, okay? Before my Arabian, I think of all the corrections that Kitty tells me, really just like really briefly, and then, I don't know, this new thing I started doing, I just like count like five, six, seven, eight, and then I go. <laughs> I don't know, it feels more fun when I do it like that, and it's been working, so. <laughs> Floor, we're still tweaking a little bit for positioning. I'm doing the same routine that I competed at championships right now, and then, Again, after Pan Ams, I'm going to put in my upgrades. Many, many choices for her that she's capable of, just trying to make the best decisions for her so that she can go out confident and be clean. These are all of our skills that we have in our routines, and um, she gives us our weekly assignment, and then whatever we make it, we put a star, and if we don't make it, we put an X. Or... And it helps to like track your progress for how you've been doing the month past weeks. I think I saw someone had a quote. Is that, was that yours? You had like a quote on the phone? Yeah, this one. Uh, yeah, imagine with all your mind, believe with all your heart, and achieve with all your might. And there's like a bunch more in here too. My favorite thing about gymnastics is competing. I enjoy performing in front of a crowd and just having a good time. Reaching my goal is what motivates me every day. And then for championships, my goal is to make national team there and compete consistently is the main goal throughout the whole year and also be named to the world's team. So we're getting some of the events back to where they belong to, in order to make that happen. My long-term goals are the Olympics 2016 and I think that she's capable and she knows that she has start values that can equal others. Being consistent and clean is our number one goal. I always try to temper it a little bit with you know other expectations. You know, like I don't want her to feel too much pressure. I want her to do what she knows how to do. And if she does what she's capable of, she should be there. My gymnastics has changed. One of the things I have to keep out of my mind is the expectations people are going to have for me. Can she do it again? Can she do more this time than last time? Get that out of my mind and just do what I've been doing in training.